Hello students. In this experiment, we are going to learn refraction of light using glass prism. We have already seen the experiment related to glass lab where we learned how the ray of light uh, changes the path when it enters the glass lab. This is almost the same experiment but the difference is the shape of this particular prism. The glass lab has a different shape and a prism has a different shape. So obviously angle of incidence and angle of emergence are going to be different. In glass lab what happened angle of incidence and angle of emergence ideally they should be same and they are same almost uh, with our experiment we got an error of around 2 degrees okay in the glass lab okay uh, but in glass lab because of its shape the angle of incidence and angle of emergence are same whereas in this case you will uh, observe that angle of incidence and angle of emergence are little different but that we are going to prove by actually doing the experiment. So let us start the experiment. What we have to do is, you have to keep this triangular side on the paper and then uh, like a glass lab you have to draw the outline of the prism first. So here I am going to draw the outline of the prism. Don't extend this line until the end because these lines this edge of a prism is not perfectly angular it is little curvy so i will keep here a gap and then i will extend it using the scale so here i extend these lines to make it perfect equilateral triangle now you must be knowing that this prism and the angles they are 60 degree. So this is an equilateral triangle with all the angles equal to 60 degree. Now what you have to do you have to first draw a normal just like we did in case of um, the glass lab. You can use this scale also or this protractor also to make the normal line using protractor it would make a perfect normal line you can select any one point and draw, draw a normal over here so here i have drawn a normal this is 90 degree as you know since it is normal now what you have to do you have to select an angle so in this case i will select 30 degree so this is your base then the protector should be placed in such a way that now you have to measure the angle from 0 to 30 degree i will take here 30 degree mark the point and then join the line so from here until here this is 30 degrees so angle of incidence this is equal to 30 degree now what you have to do again you have to select two points select two points point a point b and then just like earlier you have to press two pins so that they are collinear okay make sure that they are aligned properly now keep the prism make sure that it is just placed on the triangle Now always remember that always the manufactured product is not perfect, it is not accurate. So you have to make certain adjustment over here. Let us see. Okay, this is okay. Fine. Now take another two pins and just like earlier case you have to observe the pins from one side and push the pins in such a way that you will see all the pins in one line in one single line okay and then next one 
make sure that they are in the same line if you see that little error you can readjust the pins okay, now i think they are in the same line okay. now you can remove the prism mark the points So these are the two points. Now join the points. These are the two points. So join them until the prism. Okay. Now what you have to do? Next step is again draw a normal at the point of intersection. So this is your point of intersection. So draw a normal at this particular intersection. so this is your angle of incidence this is your angle of emergence that you have to join point of incidence point of emergence i will write here i and then join them okay you can remove this pins now what you have to do you have to extend this line extend this line and this line also this angle made by the incident line over here and this refracted line this particular angle is called as angle of deviation so this is delta this is e now we are going to measure angle of emergence and angle of deviation okay so this first i will measure angle of emergence now since this is a normal i will measure it from here taking this as the base now start measuring from zero and this is a line so it is around 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 around around 71 degree so your angle of emergence is 71 degree now measure angle of deviation angle of deviation for angle of deviation you can make this as a base and then measure the angle so this is between 40 and 50 and if you see it carefully here in this case this is 44 degree so angle of deviation is 44 degree so this is a path of the refracted light and these are the angles okay all three will be different because of the shape of the prism which is triangular the base is triangular so you will find that all the three angles are different so that was a experiment for refraction of light using prism